Hey guys, wanna shoot this quick video. Look, I mean, I was thinking a little bit today, I had this guy who I worked with a couple years ago, right? And he, he worked with me, and at the time, I think working with me, you know, the, the investment that he made was somewhere around five or $6,000 to to work with me to help him grow his business. And, you know, it was interesting because it was, it was only for a short time period. We only had to work together for a couple of months. And after that couple of months, he, kind of had some good results like he actually um he actually i'll tell you the exact story he got out talked to a bunch of people that were going to work with him he actually got one person to pay him right so he got one person to pay him and i think the person was going to pay him fifteen hundred dollars a month so that's eighteen thousand dollars a year and that was his uh, first client that he got from working with me and it happened after i think four or five six weeks somewhere in that range and you know but day or two later after that person committed the person committed the person paid they paid fifteen hundred dollars a month they called him back and they said, you know what, we can't do this. We need, we need a refund, we need our money back. And he kind of got really disheartened by that. And he came back to me and he actually asked me for a refund. And so you know what, at the time, even though I'd spent a lot of time with him, even though I totally felt like I had delivered, even though he actually got a client and the client refunded, I honored that, uh, that I had, had promised him at the very beginning and I gave the guy a refund. And it was for the full five or $6,000. Now, I said at the end, I said, you know, the thing that you got to think about in this situation is you're asking me for the refund, but you know, this is what happened to you, right? You're the type of person that would ask me for a refund. And you're also the type of person that got refunded on. Cause I'll tell you, this happens to me very, very rarely. I mean, this very, very rarely happens, but it was interesting to me that the guy who requested a refund from me was also the kind of guy that got refunded. And it's an amazing lesson about sort of the way that you treat your vendors is the same way that your customers are going to treat you. Fast forward probably seven or eight months later, I get an email from the same guy, the guy that refunded the five or $6,000, and he emailed me and he said, Andrew, look, I've kept using your methods, I've kept using your, your, uh, your information. He emailed me and he actually called, got on the phone, and he said, dude, I apologize, I never should have cut this. This was the closest I ever was to growing my business. When I look back and it was totally worth it and I wanna, I wanna work with you again and I'm willing to pay this time and, and I'm willing to, to go forward. And so, boom, he went forward and he ended up working with me. And so six or seven months later, after he had fully refunded, he came back and paid in full. And it, the story doesn't end there, but the fascinating part about that is, look, when you're, when you're looking at these kinds of situations, like if you just don't quit on people, I call it grinding people down. If you just stick on people, you keep grinding them down, you keep pushing them, you keep getting them. Eventually everybody comes into the fold and starts to appreciate you for what you're doing. Whether that's prospects, whether that's existing clients, just keep pushing on them, keep pushing on them, keep pushing on them. Even the people that are angry at some point and go away, they all come back in the long run. They all come back in the long run and they all come back happy. They all come back happy, they all come back satisfied. So you just keep pushing on them, keep pushing on them until they eventually come into the fold and start working with you. Just relentlessly push to, to deliver them value, whether that value be for free, whether that value be with a paid client. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing and eventually they'll all come back. So fast forward a year after that. So at the first point in time, and oh, and by the way, when I first talked to him, I think he did a deposit and then he wanted to talk to his wife. Next day he came back, he said he didn't wanna do it and I ended up talking him into it. And um, he went forward then, so he tried to back away from the deposit refund. Then he tried to refund on the 6,000. Now, then he came back and paid the full five or 6,000, whatever it was. Fast forward a year after that, which was just a few days ago, I spoke with him again and I said, hey, I'd like for you to work with me even more closely. I think you'd be a great fit. And now he's joined another time for something else and actually purchased something else from the company. So the reason that I bring that up is look, you think that somebody that you talk to is kind of interested, they do a deposit, then they want to get a refund. Well, talk them in. I mean, if you think you can really help them, tell them that you can really help them. And then even when they go through and they don't maybe get exactly what they want, they ask for a refund, they might still come back and join with you. And then they might still come back and join with you again and again. So at the end of the day, if you know what you have is valuable, if you know that you're providing value to people, if you know that what you have is good, you gotta push them. And it's not sort of salesy or aggressive, it's the right thing. The reality of the situation is if you're providing value to a business owner or to an individual and they're not working with you, they're bleeding. They're hurting without you, right? They're gonna be in better shape if they go ahead and they decide to work with you. So don't be afraid to push them. Don't be afraid to push them. Don't be afraid to lean on them. Don't be afraid to stick there and stay consistent. Don't be afraid of people that said no in the past or said no now, they all come back in the long run. And if you have that conviction, this has just happened to me time and time again. So look, if you're getting, if you get rejected, if somebody comes back on you, if somebody quits on you, you know, stand your ground, tell them you'd love, you're totally open to, to do it again when the time is right. And you'd be surprised how many people come back. If you just stay consistent, you never give up, you stick in your market, you stick in your niche, you keep pushing, you keep pushing, you keep pushing. Eventually people just respect that. They forget about whatever happened in the past. They've still got the problem. They come back and you end up making it happen.